Hello and welcome to Chris's Comics. It is New Comic Book Day. So let's talk about some pickups. There were some good pickups this week. Uh, I actually ended up with less than I was expecting to when I went to the store. So I'm kind of excited to have a little bit of a shorter stack this week to be able to read through everything quicker than I normally do. So first up, we have Batman the Imposter number one. Now I'm very excited for this, uh, the, mainly because Matt Tomlin who wrote this story uh, did some work on the Batman and he wrote this in with stuff that he wanted to put into the story. Um, like there's another Batman committing murders and everything like that. Um, so it gets me excited. It gets me even more excited for the Batman. Um, I mean, I'm already very excited for the Batman. Like I'm very excited for it, but this out, this is going to, I think going to help like boost that morale, if you will, for the movie. Um, like it, the excitement level is already 10. It could be an 11 after this because I, I feel like the writing is going to be very similar. Next up, Batman 89, number three. Uh, this has been so good so far. Uh, I wish we got a Batman three um, from Tim Burton uh, with Two-Face and Barbara being together. Uh, Bruce seeing Selina again, that was pretty cool. Um, some of the solicits and the covers that were released for the future issues, uh, they're amazing. I love, like, every single cover has hit with this. Like, whether it's the A cover, the B cover, whatever, every single cover has hit. And this story has been amazing. I mean, Sam Hamm, who wrote the Batman and Batman Returns uh, movies for Tim Burton, or at least it was a big part of it, um, I mean, he's picking up where he left off, and I couldn't ask for anything else. Next up. Batman, The Audio Adventures number one, uh, one shot, I believe. Uh, th this is based off of the Audio Adventures currently on HBO Max as a podcast. It's been really good so far. I've listened to a few episodes. Um, so if you haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. It's actually like a good fun listen. Next up, I Am Batman number two. Um, I have enjoyed Jace Fox's time in Gotham so far. Um, whether it's from Future State, whether it was the other series, I think there was another I Am Batman storyline, Second Son. When he had Second Son, like it, it showed him on his way to become Batman. And now this is showing him in that first few uh, outings as Batman. So it's been an interesting story. I do like Jesus' character. I like what he brings to Gotham and I'm excited to see what he, go, what he does going forward. Now, speaking of the future of Gotham, we have Gotham Future State number six. Uh, this has been really good. I, I did enjoy some of the Future State books, but this is probably one of my favorites. And it came out after all of the other Future State books. Uh, it's been so good. Josh Williamson, I've I've, I've really put uh, what how I feel about him on here. He's a fantastic writer, uh, and I cannot wait for him to take over for Batman. Next up, Joker, number eight. Now, I mentioned last week uh, that... I might be getting rid of this book. And I mean, in all honesty, one of the only reasons why I picked this up is because the color palette on the variant cover reminded me of Joaquin Phoenix's Joker costume with the maroon and the yellow, like the mustard yellow. And I thought it was really cool. Um, I'm gonna give this another shot. And if it does, if the storyline doesn't do it for me, I'm gonna give it up. Uh, unfortunately, I as much as I love the Joker, if the story's not there, the story's not there. And if the price is, is going to still be as astronomical as it is, I'm gonna give it up. Next up, Batman Urban Legends number eight. This has been a great anthology series. Like the different stories, whether it's a couple parts within a first, within some issues, whether it's a single, it's been great. Some of the stories in these have been amazing. I mean, we've had the Tim Drake story. We had a great Jason Todd storyline that lasted for four or five issues. Um, it's been amazing. This one um, has a few Kate Kane Batwoman stories, uh, especially with Batwoman coming back tonight. Uh, so I'm excited to check this out. Next up, Strange Adventures number 12. Uh, this is the last issue of Tom King's uh, Strange Adventures. I love how he takes these obscure characters like Vision. I mean, Vision it, it has was always a popular somewhat character in Marvel as far as I know. I like how he took Mr. Miracle and made it such this emotional journey for him. I think he he not always knocks out of the park, especially when it comes to stuff like this. And lastly, can't have a new comic day without at least a little Marvel. Uh, we have Amazing Spider-Man number 76. Um, not sure if I mentioned what I thought of 75 
last week, but 75 was good. I really enjoyed it. Um, and I'm excited to see what happens here because it looks like, I mean, just from the cover, we're dealing with what happened with Peter at the end of the issue. Uh, and we'll see what happens and how Ben Riley does taking over that sole Spider-Man mantle. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know what you thought of my pickups this week and let me know what you picked up or if you enjoyed some of these issues as well. Thank you for watching.